Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Is anyone else seeing what I'm seeing? Does anyone else see it? Please tell me. I'm not the only one who's thinking about something right now. Bad tr No! Oh my god! I keep forgetting I'm talking to furries. Your mind's in the gutter half the time. Come on! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Two of the same dragon type. One of the colors is blue. The other is black and red. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? And your only thought is Duke the Bad Dragon? Oh my god. Sonic and Shadow. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> to give a bit of backstory on why I decided to do this video, uh, randomly on Twitter, as all things start, I tweeted out Dragon Personas this morning, I mean, when I woke up, because I was like, oh, I missed Dragon Appreciation Day, and people were telling me that, and they were like, you should feel bad because Maverick's a dragon, and you should feel bad for Maverick. So, as any normal person would do, I blocked them on Twitter, and uh, I just tweeted out Dragon Personas. That's pretty much all I did. Favorite type of dragon? Okay, listen. I was about to bring up a whole meme that, ironically, I saw on Furry IRL, because I was doing a video for Furry IRL, because everyone wants me to do one. I'll do one to get it over with. But, like, I saw a meme of the whole, what is it, dragon spectrum in terms of dragon personas and, and dragon characters. You either have swole, buff, handsome dragons, or the thickest fucking thighs you've ever seen. It's either one of these. I don't know where that meme is or the art piece. I could look it up, but I'm kind of lazy at the moment. But the point is, there is truth to that statement. You either got thick dragons or you got thick in the in the 12 pack dragons, strong, swole dragons. And then you also have kobolds, which I guess are somewhat in between. They're like the middle. Kobold is like the cutoff in the middle. Not thick, not swole, but just small. So I guess that works. <laughs> I guess that's the better assumption here. Dragons are mostly known for voring things and hoarding. Eh, voring, hoarding, what's the difference? In the end, they look like they give good cuddles and can protect me, so, you know, that's, that's how it be. I had a book called Dragonology that went over the various different species of dragons. I'm not sure whether I still have it, but I do still have the board game about it. I had the Aragon book series, and my mom bought it for, like, $300, and, uh, I... Never read it. Does that count as a dragonology? Does that count as me being knowledgeable in dragons? What are dragoons? What's the difference between dragon and a dragoon? What is a dragoon? I'm actually curious. Is this the research portion of uh, this stream? Whatever we're doing. The difference between dragon and dragoon is that in Beyblade, dragon is right spin and dragoon is left spin. God damn it, I knew it was Beyblade all along. I mean, that's how Moses parted the Red Sea. Look it up, it's true. He did it with a bay. A bay blade. Who's the bay blade to part the Red Sea? It's canonically. It's ca it's canonic. It's canon. Sorry. It's canon. It's accurate. Oh, I also haven't finished the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy. Haven't seen the third one still. Is it Bye Bye Butterfree? No, seriously. I haven't seen it and I haven't seen how the movie ends. Is it Bye Bye Butterfree? I think it is. You don't have to tell me. Your your lack of telling me shows me that that's the answer to it. You guys really are excited for me to go over dragon personas, I swear. Enough dragons? No, there will never be. I agree. I feel like dragons are finally getting their due justice in the furry fandom. Especially as personas. And the reason why I say this is because back when I was creating a persona, back in like 2017, 2018, back when I really wanted to become a furry after Anthro New England and my first furry convention, like I tried remaking my persona because originally that fucker was metallic. He was a full on dragon. He was a Digimon. I basically ripped off a Digimon as my Sona. You've heard the story a million times. Let me bring him over here. We need some cute uwu content. I gotta get that viewership up because that's all that matters on furry content creators and whatever. The fursuit and cute art. Smooch the suit? Okay, fine. You know, I'll smooch the suit. I'll smooch, I'll smooch Maverick for you. Look at, look at that. Look at Maverick. He's adorable. He smells like blueberry pancakes. Mwah! Oh, adorable. That'll be $5 for the smooch. If you want another smooch, it'll be another $5. I just thought I'd do it ahead of time just to put you on the spot. But seriously, uh, back to the whole Dragon Appreciation Day thing. Apparently it was yesterday and something happened where everyone's like, hey, let's post our dragons. I didn't. I just wasn't even on Twitter that day. I was fucking exhausted, so I took a nap. But this dude's a dragon or a wagon. Oh, he's adorable. Look at him. Wow. I'd put him on right now if he didn't weigh five pounds on my head. 
But seriously, uh, this fucker is dragon, or part dragon. In fact, he used to be entirely only dragon back when I first got him. A little bit of backstory based on a maverick and why he's not fully dragon like he used to be. So originally, this fucker was just a dragon, full on. Metallic dragon based on a Digimon, Hackmon. You can look it up. There's a story behind him, all that jazz. The point is, he used to be a dragon. And when I became a furry, I guess, when I wanted to be more in the furry fandom, wanted to have a persona more than just like a YouTube mascot, uh, I changed him so that he would be more fluffy because I wanted to get a fursuit of Maverick eventually. Well, I'm like, well, dragons aren't fluffy naturally. And I'm supposed to follow the laws of whatever there are in the furry fan of making sense. So I can't just have a dragon and have this fluffy animal. That just doesn't work. I'd get called out and people would hate me for it, for being a dragon. This is like 2018 furry fandom before people stopped caring about other people's personas. Nowadays, if you make a comment about someone's persona of like, this should be this one. Other people would be like, shut the fuck up. Worry about your own protogen persona, God. But the point is, back in the day, people cared a lot about you being consistent with characteristics of a persona and, and living it up with, I guess, the character that you had. So originally he used to be a dragon. If I had the mentality that I have nowadays, he would still be a dragon. He wouldn't be a wolf dragon hybrid. He wouldn't be a wagon. He'd just still be a dragon because I like dragons. The only reason why I changed him to a wolf dragon hybrid was because I wanted an excuse for him to be fluffy because I thought that dragons couldn't be fluffy, especially for Sona dragons. So here we are now with Wolf Dragon Maverick. Am I going to change him back to a dragon? Probably not because the whole wagon shtick is uh, still here and people love it. But you know what? I'm going to stick with him being a wagon. It's cute. But yeah, originally he did used to be a dragon. And when I wanted him redesigned into a fluffy, furry, floofy animal. I was like, well, I can't justify a dragon being fluffy. He doesn't have scales. That wouldn't make any sense. So I made him part wolf. Just said, fuck it. I had no reason to like wolves to begin with. I just said I wanted a fluffy animal. And here we are, wolf, dragon, maverick. So technically dragon appreciation day was yesterday. So you should love and appreciate him because I, I said so. You're welcome. But let's go over dragon personas because why not? We spent like five minutes talking about me, myself and I when I've already made multiple videos talking about it. Um, uh, okay, let's start with the original tweet. Dragon Fursonas, people sent a bunch to me, and we have the quote retweet that I posted where there's still 74 plus Dragon Fursonas here. Or did people send them over twice? I can't wait. That's a thick-ass dragon, my god. Ah! <laughs> Just saying. Okay, so, going over your dragon personas, and I'm hoping to God that you kept this safe for work, that you respected my wishes. You're already respecting my wishes more than some of my own friends respect my own wishes. Just saying. But either way, dude, you're a jaguar. You're not a dragon. Don't make me call you a snap. Are you just inserting yourself because I'm not doing a, a, what is it? A feline February? Also, what kind of persona species is this? I've seen this only in VR. What is this animal? Or what mix of animals is this? Because I see dude it has one. I've seen Kiwi has, Jesus, the lights here. I've seen Kiwi has a model like this. I've seen Kyle has a model like this. What is it called? They are called Nardos. What are Nardos? Nardoragon, Nardoragon. Nara dragon, Nardos, what, what is it? They're type of dragon. Okay, well, that, I guess I'm sold on it. I mean, dude, it's cute in this. Look at him, he's, he's got his little spots and markings for his jaguar are very shiny. And he looks happy, good, he deserves to be happy. I mean, this is just adorable, I like the colors as is. I don't know if this doubles as a dragon persona, but at the end of the day, we're just looking at hot, cute dragons on the internet and putting them in between the category of the spectrum that I found on Reddit, thick or swole. This is a solid in between. This is like cobalt level. My bean, cute. Oh my God. Oh my God, these colors. I, I'm fucking in love with these colors. Okay. First off, yellow and blue or some sort of orange, yellow and blue completely fucking underrated color combo, in my opinion. The palette to die for. Second, the eyes, that's also cool as fuck. I wouldn't even thought this was a dragon than I had thought, oh, it's sentient. <laughs> See, look at that. I'm glad that they kept it safe for work for me. But seriously, I appreciate this. I like this. This dragon's cute. Okay, this dragon's really cute. I like it. Also the fucking legs with the constant, oh my God. 
The amount of fucking detail that some of you put into your personas, Jesus. Like someone from like looking away from it, from like a, a far away perspective would be like, you know what, this is a, this is a persona that's over the top. It's too complicated. Who the fuck cares? There's so much to look at that I'm so interested in every little bit of it. The constellations on the thighs, the four arms, the halo, the, the eyes, there's so much to look at. It's interesting. Fuck you, let people be happy. But seriously, Peachy Key, again, you've overdone yourself yet again with your personas. God damn. This is great. This is great. I love it. I love it. Oh, hey, that's me. Even though it isn't me, even though that's my fursona, either way, I, I guess Omnom is qualifying for this. This is what he says. This is mine. Original Sona. Donut Steel. Maverick loves donuts. How'd you know? Anyways, next dragon. Ooh, this one breathes fire. I haven't seen a dragon breathe fire yet. Also, I love how the wings are separate from the arms, too. Haven't really seen that too much. I like the colors. This is very simple. Anthropomorphic dragon with wings and breathe, breathes fire. What else? What more could you ask for? I mean, maybe you could ask for thickness or floof or what, whatever. It's just, you know what? I dig it. I dig it. This is cool as fuck. Good dragon. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Is anyone else seeing what I'm seeing? Is anyone else getting what I'm getting right now? Does anyone else see it? Please tell me. I'm not the only one who's thinking about something right now. Bad tr No! Oh my god! I keep forgetting I'm talking to furries. Your mind's in the gutter half the time. Come on! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Two of the same dragon type. One of the colors is blue, the other is black and red. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? And your only thought is Duke the Bad Dragon? Oh my god. Sonic and Shadow, thank you. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? You're telling me that you don't see Sonic and Shadow here? Even though this wasn't intended and these two probably don't even know each other. Are you kidding me? Oh my god! Come on! And the first thing you thought about was Duke? I'm not saying mind readers, but like I went back to this and went forward. Come on! I'm not that bad, don't worry. I'm not- this isn't me overreacting, but like this is just like, eh, Sonic and Shadow, eh? I mean, I didn't really see it originally when I saw the Sona. I was just like, ooh, he's hot and I like this. But then I looked back at the other one, I'm like, oh, oh, but still, going on. Ashy Ash, handsome as fuck dragon. I'm just saying, I like him. I like him. I, I like this. I like this a lot. Oh? I fucking love this art piece. Hello? A fucking wizard dragon? Hello? Yo, this is cool as hell. That is cool as fuck. Oh my god. What the fuck? We've only been on like, what, four dragon personas now? Five or so? And like, all of these are so creative. That, that's the thing. I gotta do these series more often because it just reminds me how fucking creative some of y'all are. The most furries are so creative, I just forget. And that's a big thing. Going over just each individual animal species of... of Personas that people make. Dragons? I keep forgetting how creative people are. You gotta be some level of nerdy or edgy, but mainly nerdy, to come up with dragon personas and make something like this. I'm just saying. And these art pieces are fucking amazing. I want to commission that first artist. That is so good. I'd totally buy like a print of this. Like it's so, so fucking colorful. I love the vibe. And that's the thing. You can have even just a simple white dragon like this and create it however you like. And you can make him unique to you. Make them unique to you. I love it. What a wonderful dragon, Haku. I love it. Oh my God, we've got a long ways to go. Ooh, squeaky dragon. First time I've seen this. Look at them. So inflated and squeaky. I love it. I love it. I love this. See, squeaky dragons, I'll appreciate. I love the tail, love the horns, love the colors. You know, you got like the, the baby, I think it's baby blue. I can't remember, but like the, the off shade of blue and then the darker blue for the other colors. It just, it works. It works. Also, I am doing well, Ahmed. I'm going over dragons and this one's fucking adorable. They're squeaky and their suit's adorable too. Look at that. That is cute. My God, what a cute derg. Dragging these nuts on your face. Well, it was only a matter of time before I got got. You win. Anyways, this dragon. Aethergon. Ooh, a feral dragon. What's the phrasing? It's not just feral, but like, what is a what is an animal that walks on all fours? It's not just feral. There's another word you can use for it, right? Quad quadrupedal? Quadrupedal? It's quadrupedal, right? Yeah, quadrupedal, I think. I think. That's another word for feral in this case, if you're ever curious. People are like, oh, feral art. This is feral art, but it's also quadrupedal. All-wheel drive. 
<laughs> sure. <laughs> But either way, uh, cute Durg, I dig this. First quadrupedal slash feral Durg we've seen so far. I, I'm still, I, I'm still blown away by this. I'm surprised this didn't arrive sooner. Oh, hello. A friend has shown up. You're not a dragon. You're being too loud. I'm being too loud? Yeah. I'm appreciating dragons. Do you want to look at the dragons? Sure. Look, 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 hold on, hold on. This dragon is adorable. Look, at, it's a noodle. Look at the noodle. Like it is, but fuck Twitter compression. It, it looks like Nova Husky. <laughs> That's not the same colors. Yeah, it, it looks like Nova Husky. No, it isn't. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it's like the blue and the light blue. And That's the green. That's like a green that, that, and aquamarine. That like Nova Husky. That's not That's blue. Being, Echo. Being too loud. What do you mean I'm, I'm being too loud? I'm appreciating the dragons. Right now. Look at the, dr the the dragons though. Look at this dragon. It's squeaky. Of course I'm gonna be loud about squeaky dragons. Be quiet. Also, that's cute. I told you. You can't blame me for being excited about dragons. <laughs> you can't close the door. Guess we got to keep it down, okay? We were yelled at by the by the dad of the apartment, okay? Oh yeah, Spitfire. Forgot that you're a dragon. Honestly, I fucking loved Spitfire's whole dragon design like the pink and the white it just worked this is adorable see what i mean with dragons being cats see what i mean see what i mean here like they have such cat energy that we just don't get it i'm sorry i just fucking love spitfire sona it's really cute the fuck did you send me draxler are these your dragons is he smoking a bong malfarren and dtz this one's cute. This one's hot. I still like them. They're great. Cute dragons. That's a hookah? Oh, I've never seen a hookah in my life. <gasps> Sebi! Okay, first off, I love Sebi. He's an absolute bean. He's got coffee on his Letterman jacket. I fucking love it. I wish I had that vibe. Second, he didn't send in art of his Sona in a life jacket because I know he has life jacket art. And I asked for it in the tweet. Why did he do that? Why didn't he do that? Either way. Sebi. Derg. Also, I, I don't know what hybrid... I don't know if you're just a dragon, but still, e either way. Wait, Sebi isn't your Durg? What are you then? What is this? Am I forgetting what persona species you are? Diesel is just my dragon. Then what is this? I mean, it's a hybrid, is it not? I don't know what hybrid it is. I know we have multiple personas, but still, we're gonna appreciate Sebi because look at that cat. That's a happy cat. That in my book is a happy cat. And I appreciate Sebi. Sebi, what? what is your hybrid species of this? What is Sebi? The cat looks dead inside? Look, if that cat looks dead inside, that's me because I look that way all the time, and I can guarantee that I'm not dead inside most of the time. Though I can't say for that cat, so who knows? He's a derg. Sebi is the life jacket. Well, what is Sebi then, animal-wise? I need to know. Either way, I love your derg. Very cute. Cute fursuit photo. Ooh, Magnus. First off, Magnus dragon-wise is like a fine wine. The more it ages, the better it gets. The more I get to know Magnus, the better he gets. Whoa, imagine that! Getting to know people, you get- they, you enjoy them more. Yeah, Magnus, good Dirk. And a good bean regardless, got to meet him a few times. But I fucking love this dragon. Look at this. I mean, where do you even put this on the dragon spectrum? You have buff, but you also have soft. Where do you put this? This is everything you want with a dragon put into one, and I love him. Aww. And he likes morning coffee. Look at this. I love this drag. Look at this dragon. He's friend shaped. Look, he is friend shaped. He's absolutely friend shaped. But at the same time, he gives off like the other vibes of a dragon of just being very buff, but also very thick. I don't know what the, again, the spectrum like this, this spectrum isn't really helping this case because this is just both ends of it. I don't know what to do. Help me help you, I guess. I, I don't know. E either way. I like this dragon. I love Magnus. Good Durg. Very good Durg. Oh, well, I think we found the far left end of the spectrum for our dragon spectrum. That is chonky. Very chonky. Very, very chonky. I mean, National yeah. Dragon Appreciation Day. I mean, I can still appreciate him. Drunk and chunk, I can approve of this. Well, drink can make you chunk, you know, if you like the whole, I guess, weight gain thing, you can have a potion that makes you gain weight or something. I don't, I don't know, either way. I like this Dirk. But overall, I, I think we just kind of get the idea that just like, you know what? Dragons are great. Sure. And I think the furry fandom has more or less shown that to me, at least in the past three years. I mean, granted, he was just going to be a dragon, but I wanted a reason for him to be fluffy because I thought you can't have a fluffy dragon. But either way, the point is, there's some really creative personas on the internet. And we haven't even 
scratch the surface in terms of Dragon Persona. So we'll pick this up with some sort of part two next time, whether it's on YouTube or in the form of a Twitch stream, if not both. But either way, those are some pretty good dragons.